So, Miss Spooky Pants gave me this menu which will supposedly put more grande in my esponja. Excellent! You wanna put some of your newfound deductive reasoning to the test and help me figure out what I need for the menu? I'd give my beard to be able to help you, but I'm afraid my pirate mind is not fit for such things. It explains why after all these years you still allowed me to get within a nautical mile of you with a bottle of voodoo root beer. Got any deep thoughts about this voodoo menu? I'm afraid I'm useless here, Guybrush. No. Sit tight, buddy. Once I save a lane, you're next. Don't worry about me. I haven't been properly trained to give enigmatic yet portentous tarot card readings. Mm -hmm. It's a sack full of severed legs. <laughs> Looks like there's a few cards missing, but I'm sure there's enough precognitive mojo in these babies to count as a sixth sense course. None of this really matters. That's not as fun napkin that is a sight. A garish cloth grotesque to bright. I guess the jungle will make us smell like stuff. I think also because you had to find six cents to use your map, so I've done that one. Sight, put a napkin that is a sight, Garish. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Done everything in the jungle. Who go? Oh, it's you. You got nothing for me. Hi there, double peg. I forgot the tale of the jungle beast. None have seen the jungle beast, but it's the scariest, foul smellingest. Uh, yeah, yeah, skip to the end. The meat disappears from the altar without a trace. Good story. See ya. I got it set up correctly. So I have to get to the booth, ladies. Alas, poor hemlock, I knew it, this limb, a leg of infinite toe jam, of most excellent thigh cheese. It hath borne its owner's creaking frame a thousand times, and now how clammy and gross within my grasp it wriggles. Oh well, 
Soup's on. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta do something to put it to sleep, I'm guessing. Sure what though. I better keep away from them or they'll strip me naked faster than you can say MA rating. Finicky moths won't eat a jacket that's encrusted with bacon grease, fish water, and manatee guts. Lucky me. Oh, okay. Even when it's burned to the ground, the voodoo lady's shack is still creepy. It's a good thing those fashion conscious moths don't appreciate my clothes, or my pockets would have more holes than the Albert Hall. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. We've replaced our usual fleshy sacrifice with a clever simulacrum. Let's see if the jungle gods notice. Didn't do anything. Um, it's a sack full of sep. Oops, I know I should do that. Dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. Um. Jungle fireflies, nature's little spotlights. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Right, though. It's 
still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spool. What the? That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? That poor little flesh-eating stink bob looks like he's in a world of pain. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for- Yikes! Those jaws will snap me in twain if I get too close. Or maybe even thwain. Um... What the? It's empty! No. Oh. <laughs> um... Here, boy! Ooh, that looks uncomfortable. But at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! you! That is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. Neat. That lion's paw stinks worse than my mother-in-law's neck folds. I've got the smell. I've got the sixth sense. Shocking touch. And a belch. Done everything here. I've there's definitely nothing left here. They decided to put the rug inside after it was clean. La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. That doesn't need to be illuminated. enough to take the Fugu Jolokia challenge? Fugu Jolokia. Seems pretty harmless. Hmm. How about some more of those volcano shots? Sorry, uh, one per customer. It's not a wise today. Hey, WP. Tell me about this Fugu Jolokia challenge. A connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Um, yes? Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jolokia, the hottest pepper in this world or the next. Oh, that Fugu Jolokia. I acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort, winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for ten entire seconds. 
How eccentric. Since that tongue-destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jalokia for 11 seconds. Okay, Pepper, prepare to meet your master. Okay, mental note. The Fugu Jolokia is hot to the touch, too. Okie I can't pick it up. <laughs> um... Fugu Jolokia. Seems pretty harmless. Fecal flingers. Stamp. Guy brush, old pal. Can I take another look at your voodoo lady and the Chuck Goo Gaws? Can't keep your eyes off them, huh? What's happening? Mm, on second thought, say no more. That's glowing. And it goes off, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hey, you again. Hello, tree board. About this feast for the senses, what would you like to know? The antipasta? Explain. With the table set, a powerful aroma must encourage the appetite to grow. I think my nose has been in shock since traversing the inside of a manatee. I'm sure you will find something. I do have something. What about the dessert? This is one hungry sponge. Ah, what is your favorite thing about dessert, Guybrush? Running out before the check arrives? No, it is the pleasurable shock of something different. Ah. All right, enough about the feast for now. Look, Chuck! Hey, bro! Sit tight. Don't worry. Um, I don't know what to do. Morgan's body. <laughs> Refreshing. Ow. What the? Duh. <laughs> Them period 
Although possessing. Yeah, I've done all that. Um. I'm not going back in there. It's gross. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. No more bananas. Curse you, banana god. That's really wedged in there. I'd pull it out, but it's caked in all sorts of icor. I'm doing here. Unless, hang on. All right, little fellas. Check out these high def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. Well, at least Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Just when my opinion of the legal profession couldn't get any lower, along comes Stan. Old pal. Can I take another look at keep well, what's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu, Licha. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kicks. Hey now, what's this? A fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! That ah! One heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Say, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Stan S. Stan Man, naked attorney at law. You've got nothing to hide, and neither does he. Um. No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. Sweet. Though it's been reduced to rags, Stan's jacket is still a sight to make eyes sore. So, got the napkin. Got that. Don't have that. Got that. I know where that is. And a belt. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. So, first course is this. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly, anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. I think I need to do the first three courses of the feast before tackling the main course. What was the next one? Um. I better 
better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Hum, 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 hum. I know I can numb my tongue, but I need to. Because I can't pick up the thing. I'm gonna try it. Ow! What is it? My tongue! God, did. God, blah! <laughs> Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? What's that? Oh, use my hook. You want to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? Why didn't you say so? Have at it, Captain. to keep it as your own. I want a clean living and a healthy co- oh. <laughs> Probably got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. That's the case I go in. Boop. Boop. Good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. Hopefully these flakes of the future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. I'm glad it's a small dessert. A touch so shocking in my I'd head. better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Um, well when I leave it charges, so what's charging? Is it my hook? Oh, there's something else. I don't want to dig my hook into that. I don't know where it's been. Sponja Grande can sense the future now. And how would it tell anyone if it did? La Sponja Grande is only good for soaking up voodoo. Like the pox. So it's charge is static. So I don't want to dig my hole. How? That doesn't need to be illuminated. They decided to put the rug inside after it was clean. I don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> 